Now, as somebody who's crazy, there ain't too much stuff that really phases me when it comes to suggestions that people may have for the Baltimore Ravens, things that people think the Baltimore Ravens should do, or moves that people think the Baltimore Ravens should make. But this one right here from Bleacher Report, it caught me way off guard, all the way off guard, because this was nothing that I saw coming. The category for this article for Bleacher Report was trades that every NFL team should do before the 2024 season. One player each NFL team should consider trading before the regular season starts. And let's just get straight into it, uh, because the person who you would have thought, you, you, you actually probably wouldn't think, especially after everything that happened this offseason, the person that they chose for the Baltimore Ravens is Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman. Who the Baltimore, and again, this article is not an old article. It just came out like a day or two ago. So this was way after they signed Rashad Bateman to that contract extension. Now, it's a small contract extension, but contract extension nonetheless. But let's read their reasoning. It says, it's not easy to find trade candidates for Super Bowl contenders. I like how they started that off. I like that. Anyway, uh, after coming one game uh, from the Super Bowl last year, Baltimore Ravens aren't likely to be looking to shed talent this summer. It may seem doubly strange to suggest that the Ravens trade a young player in wideout Rashad Bateman, who was not only a former first round pick, but who just signed a three year extension. See, so, so they know. It ain't like the person who wrote this is unaware of the contract extension, but let's see their reasoning continue. And it says, but this isn't a trade for picks. This is is a play to upgrade at a position where the Ravens aren't especially deep. Say wide receiver or edge rusher, a win now move. Okay, now let's see where they're going with this. Bateman's first three NFL seasons have been mostly disappointing. After 515 receiving yards as a rookie, Bateman hasn't cracked 400 yards either of the past two seasons. But while speaking to reporters, rookie cornerback Nate Wiggins said Bateman has been a handful in OTAs. He's just shifty. A lot of quickness in the route, Wiggins said. If there's a team out there that buys into Bateman's talent and reasonable salary, about $5 million a year over the next three seasons, yeah, that's, that's a steal. Like, well, it, it can be a big steal. If Bateman, like, really shows up and delivers this year, him and Lamar get that connection, Monk can get him involved, and he make the plays, oh, that's going to be a steal. But anyway, it says, if there's a team out there that buys into Bateman's talent and reasonable salary, he could be used as part of a deal that gets the Ravens an even better player at the position. So they talking about trading Bateman. Let's continue. He says, package Bateman with a pick and go get one of the bigger name wide receivers listed later in this column. Ooh. Now, you know what? After their explanation of everything. After they broke down exactly why they would trade Rashad Bateman and what they would trade Rashad Bateman for, in my honest opinion, it doesn't sound as crazy, but I would do it a different way. Y'all know me. I'm very greedy. I want it all. I want everything. And hey, my greediness is not far-fetched because you see how them Eagles do it. They get everything and they keep everything. So don't try to run your mouth and tell me, oh, you can't do that. You can't have everybody. No. Eagles do it. The Baltimore Ravens, they could mess around and do it too. But anyway, the way that I would do this, I the part where it says about upgrading at the wide right, right receiver position, y'all know I'm about that all day. All day. I would obviously keep Zay Flowers. I would keep Rashad Bateman. I would keep Nelson Aguilar too. And obviously Tez Walker. But I would go out and go get that guy. That's what I would that, That's just me. That's what I would do. So somebody like, again, we talked about it before, like a DK Metcalf, somebody like that, I, I would go and get them. Go and make it happen. Because... And we, we hate having this conversation, but we got to have this conversation because this is a conversation that continues to surround the Baltimore Ravens is injuries. And, and not even, forget the injuries, talent, talent, proven talent. And when we talk about the wide receiver position specifically, we, we have uh, Zay Flowers, baller, he's going to be amazing. And we hope he continues to get even better. Rashad Bateman, the talent is there. They just got to get it out of him. Now... Do you want to bank on that? It, it looks like the Baltimore Ravens are thus far. 
But are, are you really Are you gonna bank on that Are you gonna bank on Rashad Bateman's potential Being tapped Is that what it's gonna be this season It looks like it's headed that way And if that's the case Okay Cool But then there's there, There's Nelson Aguilar There's Tez Walker There's Tylen Wallace There's Deontay Hardy So a Baltimore Ravens Receiver room right now It's not the best looking in the league it ain't the worst, but when you think about an injury here or an injury there, but not not even that, man. You think about the talent here and the talent there, what you're going up against this day and age in the NFL. For you to possibly be able to upgrade that position, it's like, like, and I know a lot of Ravens say, oh, well, we got enough receivers. Da, 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 da. The way that Ra a lot of Ravens fans look at the whole wide receiver thing, it's just different because Ravens are not used to having a plethora of riches, especially when it comes to offense. But on defense, like we, we've been talking about adding that third safety for months. We've been talking about that for months. Who's it going to be? We should add somebody, sign Justin Simmons. And then most people are on board with it. Most people are on board with adding another safety. We already got two great safeties, great safeties. One's a veteran, but he's still in his prime. One is an up-and-coming guy who could you could argue he's the best safety in the league in Kyle Hamilton, but you got two really good safeties, and we still talking about adding another one. Nobody bets tonight. Nobody questions and nobody argues, oh, we shouldn't add a third safety. We should use one of the young guys. But you talk about wide receiver, same scenario. You talk about wide receiver. Well, actually, not the same scenario because I feel like the, the Ravens scenario at wide receiver is not nearly as good as it is at the safety position. Well, it's not. It's not. But you talk about adding another wide receiver. He'd be like, oh, we don't need that. That's garbage. What's, that's a waste of money. That's a waste of draft capital. That's a waste of cap space. Everything flips. But why? Again, you, the thing, the wide receiver position, same conversation we've been having for years. You got Lamar Jackson. This dude won... Two MVP. That's, that's crazy. You say that out loud, man. This dude won two MVPs. And you look at a lot of his receivers. They weren't all bad the years he won the MVPs. But you think about him. He had uh, Hollywood Brown. Oh, yeah. He shout out to him. Shout out to that guy. He had a Willie Sneed. He had a Miles Boykin. He had a Seth Roberts. That's the wide receivers. Um, if I'm missing somebody, just put it in the comment section. But then you think this year, he had. And Odell Beckham Jr. And it wasn't the same Odell Beckham Jr. as a name, but he did have Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, Zay Flowers. Hey, shout out to that boy. Yeah, yeah. And Odell Beckham was solid. He wasn't bad. He just wasn't the Odell of old. Um, had Rashad Bateman. Just struggling Rashad Bateman. Had a Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar was solid. But, and, and oh, Devin Duvernay, too. But Devin Duvernay wasn't really used too much last year. Um, so you think about when we talk about receiver or for me when I talk about receiver and, and I think about the potential of a Lamar Jackson that ain't even been reached all the way yet and that's crazy to say right I, I feel like Lamar Jackson's potential hasn't even been all the way reached yet and this dude won two MVPs this dude got 99 out of 100 votes for his two MVPs man but when you, you think about Lamar Jackson with a premier target, in addition to the targets he has now, and not to say they can't become premier targets. Hey, maybe they can. I Zay Flowers for sure. He's on that road. But you think about, and, and again, we ain't talking about tight ends. We're talking about wide receivers. That's it. It's just so exciting envisioning that, man. It really is. It, it gets me hyped thinking about that possibility and thinking, oh, like, oh, man. Like, last year, the way they did it, I was cool with it. Now, I was hoping we would get a different Odell Beckham Jr., but it is what it is. But this year, I, I'm still a little, I'm, the, I'm excited to see how they do. I'm a little hesitant. I'm a little, I'm a little skeptical on it or whatnot. Uh, I'm obviously hoping for the best, but I'm a little like, okay, I, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But for them, Again, with, with trading Rashad Bateman, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't trade Rashad Bateman. I keep Rashad Bateman. You got Rashad Bateman for, again, a little over five mil per year. And again, if he, if they reach his potential, they get that potential out of him, oh my goodness, that is going to be the biggest steal in the league. But if they don't, if it doesn't work out, and we, of course, don't want to think like that, but it's something that you got to think about because it's a possibility. 
But if it doesn't work out, then what? Where are you? What do you do? What's going to happen then? So hopefully we don't even have to have that conversation. And, and I don't think we will. I think Rashad Bateman is going to be A-OK. But I would still upgrade the position. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. What do y'all think the Baltimore Ravens should do? Would you trade Rashad Bateman or would you prefer to keep Rashad Bateman? And again, of course, this is even after this contract extension that he just got. What would you do uh, at the wide receiver position? Would you follow Bleacher Reports, their strategy, their equation to trade Rashad Bateman and get an even more proven wide receiver? Or would you go all the way where you keep bait, say bait, oh, we know you're going to come through, but still upgrade the position anyway. Y'all let me know. Team, keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on and leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot. We don't like the thought of trading Rashad Bateman, but... We do like likes on the video. We, we love likes on the video because it helps out the channel a ton. I love y'all so much. Special shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean channel members. Thank you. Appreciate you. Special shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Thank you. Appreciate you. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the join button. If you would like to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenviz. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Rashad Bateman won't be, at least on my watch, as long as I'm this armchair GM, I'm out.